didn't have a clue what I wanted to do. I didn't do very well at school and science actually didn't, it wasn't one of my interests at school. And my mum said to me, how about beauty therapy? I was quite, quite good at doing my makeup um, back then as a teenager and she just said, you know, have a go, see how you get on with it. Um, so I enrolled at the, the local college and I was doing wedding makeup and it was actually my father-in-law that said um, there's a job going at Rutherford, why don't you give it a go? I was lucky enough to be able to come in and have a look round and instantly, my instant reaction was it's all science based, there's no way I could do that and once I'd had a look around and had a thought about it I had a talk to a couple of the other staff members I thought perhaps maybe I could give, give it a go um, applied, had the interview and very luckily got the job and I've been here ever since. So I produce tiny sub-millimeter micro-targets, a structure that's made up of different materials, some precious metals or plastics that is made to very, very small scales that we give to our scientists to use in their laser experiments. The role of a target fabricator is so niche, you probably won't find many of us in the world. As long as you're quite keen and, and switched on and you've got all the skills to sit and put these tiny things together. It's just the, the challenge of making these tiny things that nobody else makes, that nobody else has made before, and contributing to, you know, to this world-leading science that we do here. Um, it's pretty special to be part of. I was able to adapt my, my skills somehow to, to what we do in here. You've got to be very delicate and fine and, and meticulous and pay real close attention to detail. So I guess with that they thought perhaps I might be able to, to give, give it a good shot.